So this question says trapezoid A, B, C, D. Okay, so I'm going to use the strategy plug-in picture. I'm going to draw a trapezoid. I have no idea if what I'm drawing is accurate, but I can always erase or redraw. I'm going to call it A, B, C, and D. We're told it is similar to trapezoid PQRS. So I'll just do a similar, similar symbol here and draw another trapezoid, make it a little bit smaller, who knows, and call this P, Q, R, and S. The length of each side of trapezoid PQRS is three times the length of the corresponding side of trapezoid ABCD. So actually PQRS should have been larger than ABCD, but that's perfectly fine. So if I called this, for instance, little a and little b and little c and little d, that means this would be three times a, right? And three times b and three times c and three times d, because that's what the question just told us, that they are all three times the length of the corresponding side of the other trapezoid. The next sentence here says the area of trapezoid ABCD is six square centimeters. Okay, so area, so A is equal to six centimeters squared. What is the area in square centimeters of trapezoid PQRS? Um, all right, so then, so here's a trick actually. The, the scale factor, which just has to do with the ratio of the lengths of the sides. Um, so the ratio for the scale factor here would be one to three, right? For every one unit in this trapezoid, we get three times that over here. So the area, the ratio of the areas will always be the square of those. It'll be one to nine, right? So whatever the area is here, it'll be nine times that area on this side. So if the area is six, then what needs to go here to make it nine times? Well, I won't, you know, go through any, I can make a proportion and all that stuff. But instead of doing that, we'll just, I'll just say it out loud. Basically, it's got to be six times nine, right? So this has to be 54. Why? Again, because if I were to reduce this ratio, I'd get right back to my one to nine, which is what I know I need for the area. So the area of trapezoid PQRS must be 54 square centimeters, and therefore choice C must be the correct answer. So this also works, it's not for this question, but it also works for volume questions when you're looking at similar solids. So volume is always the same ratio, but cubed, okay? So in this case, it would be like one to 27 if we were doing volume. So area is squared and volume is cubed in, in relationship to the scale factor. So once you know the scale factor ratio, you can just square to find the area ratio, or you can cube it to find the volume ratio. Hopefully, if you did not know that, that's a good note to write down for future questions.